For more, uh, we are joined by Gamco Investors' Chris Morangi. Morangi is the Associate Portfolio Manager of the Gabelli Value Fund, and Morangi oversees more than 1.2 million shares of both uh, classes of Comcast shares. Chris, uh, great to have you stop by here. And, uh, you know, Michelle set it up pretty well. I mean, overall, do you think they pay too much for this? Well, listen, it, we live in a world of double-digit price increases for content, especially sports programming. And if you look at this over the 10 years, you're looking at something like low uh, single-digit increases in programming costs, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, which is pretty good. Uh, which is okay. And, yeah. and less than I think some investors feel uh, feared. But, um, but is it worth it? Well, well, yeah, that's the question. And I think, again, you have to look at this as a 10-year project. And will NBC be worth more at the end of those 10 years uh, because of the Olympics or won't it? I, I think it will. And I think there's a lot of ways for them to get there. Like what? Like what? Would, would, would the, well, if content is king, sports is king of kings. This is programming that's unique, that you can't get on Netflix, that's hard to skip with your TiVo. So, uh, you know, this, was, this should drive much higher affiliate fees across all of their programming assets, whether it's uh, their Versus Sports Channel, Regional Sports Nets, the NBC network itself, and, and their other cable because networks. Because they have this content that you can't get anywhere else, and so therefore they can charge higher rates for that then, essentially. That's right. It's must-have programming. Okay. And it's very highly desired by the advertisers as well, so they can command a premium there. Is it? It is highly, highly desired. Well, by who wants to, who wants to, who wants to watch a sports uh, event after uh, it's already done? You know the result. So right. it's more resistant to, to ad skipping. Um, who is this? Which network or networks is this going to help within the Comcast family? Well, I think the obvious one would be Versus, uh, to be named something else uh, soon. By the way, uh, and this would really be the, the anchor tenant for for that uh, for that network. It now has the NHL and some other sports programming. Right. But uh, this could really turn into a real rival uh, for ESPN over time. And, you know, ESPN, obviously, Fox, they both bid. Was it wise for them not to outbid NBC? Well, there's less benefit to ESPN. Uh, they're already getting, you know, 450 or more per month per subscriber for their programming. I'm not sure how much they can increase that, whereas Versus is getting about a tenth of that. And so there's a lot more upside for, for that network and for NBC, for that matter. And Fox? Uh, Fox is, uh, I was a little surprised that they bid for all four, um, but uh, obviously they probably had some more upside as well. They don't have the same uh, group of assets that, uh, that NBC does. Uh, and I mean, obviously NBC, you know, we have to mention that it's the incumbent, right? I mean, they've had the Olympic rights for, for so long, for, for, for more than about 20 years or so, I think, and right? The last 10, 10 Olympics have been on NBC. And, right. uh, and the IOC members, uh, I think, took that into consideration, and, and that was, a, I think, a factor in their winning. That and the money. Uh, <laughs> but, Chris, I mean, tell me, though, how exactly it has helped NBC in the last 20 years, where otherwise, if they didn't have the Olympic rights, it well, well first of all, yeah, the, I think looking backward is, is interesting, but the world has changed. Uh, but, you know, over the last, uh, over the last um, 10 Olympics, 8 Olympics, uh, NBC has been able to launch a lot of new programs uh, on okay. the back of, of the Olympics. Obviously, you know, NBC Sports has been a, one of the preeminent sports uh, uh, production companies out there. Uh, so, um, but, but again, the world has changed versus when I was not part of the mix when mm -hmm. NBC was all by itself. Um, and, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of interesting things that Comcast can do with this programming. Um, one, of the, one of the key rationales for we, we thought for putting Comcast and NBC together was that it would push forward, it would, it would evolve the model okay. and, uh, and thus preserve the model, the cable um, uh, model. And so putting this on, on TV everywhere, putting this, being able to watch volleyball on your iPad on the beach, mm. I think is going to be very valuable. Right, that'll be a part of this. And uh, quickly, Chris, I mean, one person who's not going to be at the helm of this that was before is Dick Eversall. Yeah, and uh, you know, obviously everybody everybody has to move on at some point. Mark Lazarus has done a good job. Steve Burke, who is uh, CEO of, of NBC, is a terrific executive, and he'll, he'll do a good job as well. All right, Chris, thank you.